Hello, Cowan Heights. Gloomy looking old day out there. At least it's not snowing. Hey there, welcome to week 13 of my ketamine treatments. That's crazy, 13 weeks. Feels like forever though, it's, it's dragging out a lot. I mean, each, uh, that's what, three months? Over three months now of weekly, bi-weekly for, or twice a week for a while and then once a week for the rest of it. It's a long time and still I don't know if it's working or not. That's the thing. I keep going and having these appointments, keep uh, doing my nasal sprays, and uh, I don't know if it's working. I mean, just last night, for example, I was in this state where I was frantic and had a lot of suicidal thoughts happening. Today, I experienced a lot of depression, tears a few times, and... Uh, so that's today, plus my anxiety is way up, and uh, so it's hard to know if it's working or not. I, I mean, yes, there's external factors that are causing my anxiety to increase at times. There's probably external factors that are causing me to be depressed, I don't know, but either way, it doesn't feel like ketamine is uh, dampening any of those feelings at all. Well, that's not entirely true because it has taken the edge off my suicidal thoughts. I mentioned that in my last video or one of my other videos. So it's doing that. It's like, I still have my suicidal thoughts, but they're just not as intense and not as lengthy in duration, if that makes sense. Notice how long my hair is getting. All oh, this is all messy. Yeah, going to get that looked after now. I got a hair appointment with my friend Deborah. I'm lucky. My hairdresser lives close enough that I can walk. Nice scenery on the way to get my hair did. I do wish I wore gloves though, it's chilly. One of the great things about getting my hair done with Deborah is we get to smoke a joint first together. All done, all cleaned up. Now, yeah, let's get home out of this pool. I'm definitely not surprised that it's snowing again. Still April, right? At least I'll sleep better tonight because I won't have the hairs on my lips tickle on my nose. You can smell her dogs off me, can't you? Eh? Lots of smells. There, haircut done. Good for another couple weeks. In the front door, out the back door.
I only missed 10 minutes. I'm still good. Okay, what do we have here? Peanut butter, my weakness. Mini eggs with peanut butter, my weakness. Now, would you look at that masterpiece right there, hey? Peanut butter with Reese peanut butter mini eggs. Now that's a combo. Now this could be because of that cannabis I just smoked, but I can't beat this craving tonight, let's see. Don't worry, I'm only having one spoonful because any more than that and I'd probably die before the night is out. All I can say is I feel a sugar crash coming out. Come on, coffee. Time to switch to YouTube and watch some nature sounds or listen to nature sounds in the background while I read. Might as well read since this guy is sitting on me. Look at what page I'm on. If things work out, I should be finished this book tomorrow after my ketamine treatment. Can you guess who's on supper duty tonight? Good old Cajun chicken. Mm, looks good. Don't you agree? They're hot and spicy though. It's got uh, banana peppers and some kind of hot sauce on it. Makes my eyes water. But one ingredient I do put on to help kind of uh, offset some of that uh, hotness is uh, pineapple. The sweetness of the pineapple complements the hot and spiciness of the banana peppers quite well. I could be wrong, but I think I referred to this as uh, Cajun chicken. It's uh, actually called a kicking chicken. And if I already called it kicking chicken, I'm sorry for correcting myself when I didn't need to. But anyway, it's kicking chicken and it's uh, got a good kick to it, that's for sure. I had to pick some of the banana peppers off the second half. I can't do it, I'm gonna die. That's bloody hot. Oh, that was better. Guess what? I finished it. She's all over. And it was actually a decent book.
Perfect day to get my 17th ketamine treatment. Yay. I'm not going to whine about how sick I am of it. It's like beating a dead horse at this point. Well, since I finished reading Lysi's story last night, I got to pick out another book. I have two options. I think I know which one I'm going to go with for now. I got this guy, which I've been picking through a little bit. I'm about a quarter way through. It's a uh, meditation for fidgety skeptics. I, uh, I've been into meditation quite a bit over the last couple of years, so I decided to read that. And the other one is <clears throat> The Last Witch. The Last Wish, sorry. It's part of the, uh, the Witcher trilogy or the Witcher series. And I've become a fan after watching the show on Netflix, so I'm going to try that one out. But which one shall it be? I think I'm going to go with this one. It's a little lighter reading than my Stephen King book, that's for sure. So uh, it's a nice little break. Uh, instead of uh, being creepy and scary and suspenseful and thrilling, it's nice to have something that you can just kind of uh, relax and set the mood for. Yeah, kind of like ketamine appointments. A little break, watching Itchy Boots before my cab comes. Yeah, you can't beat this YouTube channel, Itchy Boots. She's in Madagascar right now. Uh, there's my ride. That was a decent cab ride. The gentleman, he was quite friendly and talkative. And I uh, got some inside information on Crown Lands because he's in the process of building a cabin. And uh, he went through some of the issues I've been having searching for Crown Land in my home community. Time to head up. Get up there and get this over with. Well, here's to hoping this session takes me on a nice little ride my home for the next hour. Priorities is the gift basket of Tic Tacs. Just waiting for those questionnaires. Hate those. And uh, they haven't changed much in the last 13 weeks. And I don't usually do well with a lot of questionnaires because I tend to overthink every single question and possible answer. It's like I get stuck and just become paralyzed. Let's see, how often have I lost interest in doing things? Nearly every day. Feeling depressed? Nearly every day. Falling asleep or staying asleep? Nearly every day. Feeling tired? Having little energy? Every day. Thoughts that you would be better off dead or hurting yourself in some way, every day. You're welcome. Having high scores means I pass, right? Got my first two squirts in. In case you've ever wondered what it tastes like, it's, uh, it's like a very burning kind of a sensation when it goes back in your throat after you snort it in. It almost tastes like chewing on Zopaclone pills. It's uh, pretty disgusting. That's why they give us the Tic Tacs. For today's soundtrack, I'm listening to Forest Ambient Sounds. The second doses are in. I gotta say, it's, um... Sorry, somebody was walking by. <laughs> it's a nice, uh... It's a nice feeling when the effects first start kicking in. It's like your whole body starts to become a little lighter and just becomes relaxed and you start gradually going almost into a dreamlike state. It's good. Third dose is in, so 
1998. All finished, had an interesting experience during that session. I was just sitting here enjoying myself and the uh, light cover fell down. <laughs> it bounced off my hand, did no damage though. But what was interesting was my reaction because it didn't even phase me. It was just like, oh, whatever. <laughs> Anyway, no big deal, no harm done. Just uh, an accident that it happens. 40-year-old athletic. Every now and then on YouTube, I'll watch these. Uh... It's only the last little while that it's been. Uh... Guess what time it is. That's right. <laughs> little chilly it is a lot easier to find dog poop on the snow than it is here especially when you're colorblind because yes I am colorblind red green blues and purples yellows and reds and greens and all that stuff now you can imagine how challenging it is to find dog poop Now to wait for garbage day. See how that barbecue is spaced out from the uh, side of the deck? It's all because I got pissed off at the neighbor's dog barking the other night and I kicked that uh, grill. And when I kicked it, it pushed this end out. I need to get a grip on my anger issues. It's a uh, good thing I had my steel poo boots on that day. Proud of myself. I'm eating a banana when I had all of this to choose from. Bananas are sitting there, right next to peanut butter, mini eggs. But I didn't cave. Well, that's definitely not motorcycle riding weather, is it? On the bright side, even if it was good motorcycle riding weather, I would not be permitted to drive anyway because of my ketamine treatment. Gotta wait 24 hours to drive, roughly, or at least until the next morning. Time to do some shopping. Hmm. This looks better than Amazon. So this is what I have coming. Holy smoke, tropical rain pre-rolls. These little Edison Pinner combo packs are nice. Some nice pink Kush. Haven't tried Holy Smoke yet. It's a uh, veteran special. That minty one is my favorite mint one. Had to order a few extras of those. And I'm gonna try this new one, Strawberry Cough. <laughs> See how that goes. Stupid surveys. That beautiful spring night, snow blowing.
morning, Cowan Heights, again. Not a gloomy day, at least that old snow stopped and it's melted. Let's sit upside. Cheers and good morning. I think it's almost on purpose. Powers to be just don't want me to read because as soon as I got through one page of this book, the dog next door starts barking and uh, I find that very distracting. I just, I can't help it. It's all I hear is like, yep, 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 yep. Just through the walls, through the door. I wish I could shake that. But I do have to admit, in this particular situation, I am relatively calm compared to my normal reaction. I think it's because I got the uh, nature sounds going in the background. Plus, I just meditated slightly just a few minutes before I started reading. So I'm in a kind of a calm state. But normally, when I hear that dog barking, like through the walls, through the door, or I'm outside or whatever, it triggers me big time. And it's, it sounds silly, a little tiny yappy dog, how the heck is that gonna trigger you? But the sound, like when it hits, it's like, it startles me, it causes a scare, it sends, like my whole body just tenses right up, and it's like, what the, is that, right? And. And that's when the hypervigilance all kicks in. I, even though I know it's the dog, it's like I gotta go look out the window to see what the heck the dog is barking at. And it's usually nothing, because it's usually just facing in a random direction, just going yap, 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 like that, which is enough. To, mm. So there's that. And I forget where I was going. I got too excited doing the dog impression. But yeah, it's, um, yeah, and then I keep going through other windows and looking out the windows. I'm restless, agitated, pacing back and forth from that window to that window to the door and just standing in the middle of the living room, like just feeling helpless. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, I can't go out and actually strangle and kill the dog, right? That's a joke. I would never do that. But... I got, I'm sick of wearing headphones. I don't want to be wearing headphones all the time. So I'm already dreading the warmer weather when you'd like to have your windows cracked a bit just to let the air flow through. Because with the windows cracked, that's just going to make that so much louder and I'm probably going to end up just, I don't know, shutting down big time. All right. So now, now how am I supposed to get back into this book now after that? This is why I need to move. Like I am not designed to live next door to people because people, they move around, they turn lights on and off, they make noises, such, they do what people do. And uh, apparently I'm not a really a people person, I guess. I'm just a grumpy veteran who just, everything annoys me, that's it. Yeah, I'm done with this. There's no sense reading. Like all I can think about is kill, death, that kind of stuff. Time for some five finger death punch, I think. Even my own dog is driving me nuts right now, aren't you, Rex? My wife is gone, so he's pacing back and forth through the window waiting for her to come back. All I hear is his nails on the floor clicking. So it's not just things outside my house. 